I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Electron Stability When Gaining Electrons. Okay, so just like most things in chemistry and life, there is no clear-cut answer. So I can't just say that atoms are more stable when they get electrons or they're less stable. It really depends. Let's check out a couple of different examples to see what I mean. So on one hand, we have fluorine, whose atomic number is 9. This means it's going to have nine protons, and when it's neutral, nine electrons. So if we draw the electron shells of fluorine, the first electron shell is always filled with two electrons, and the next one has room for eight. So fluorine has nine total, which means that two got used up in the first shell, so it's going to have seven left, or seven valence. So just like this. So every atom wants to have a complete full valence shell, and this means getting all the way to eight. And so fluorine is only one away from this goal. And once an atom or element has a completely full uh, valence shell, it becomes a lot more stable. So if fluorine somehow gets that extra electron, and it has a full valence shell of eight, it'll become negative, but it'll be very stable. So in this case, adding an electron increases stability. Let's take another example of sodium. Now sodium's atomic number 11. So just like fluorine, the first shell is filled with two electrons. Now we have the next shell, that's filled with 8, so 11 minus 2 is 9, so we're going to completely fill up this shell, and that means we go to the third shell, because we have one left over. So right there. So remember, every element wants to have a full octet, full valence shell, and sodium is really, really far away from this goal on its third shell, so it doesn't want to get another electron. In fact, sodium wants to do the opposite. It wants to lose an electron. If it loses this electron, it'll become positively charged, and it will have a complete full valence shell down here. So remember, an element doesn't care if it gets a full shell by adding into its most outer shell or by subtracting to then just be down at this shell. Uh, so they're both happy. So for fluorine, adding an electron was good, for sodium, adding an electron is bad. It would make it a lot less stable. So the answer just depends. You can find out whatever element you want to look up by going to the periodic table, looking up the number of valence electrons, and doing the same thing. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is The Electron Stability with Adding an Electron.